Got the fish we wanted, guys. This time I got him on the first hit. That's a better. That's a. That's a lot better brown there. There we go, guys. The day's over. I got a decent one here. Well, I don't know if it's decent, but it definitely feels better than the last one I got. Was just a little guy. Maybe it's just the current. Th or it's just four weight. Look at it bend. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice golden brown there. Let's get him a little bit tired so we don't lose him. Bring him over here to the slack. Now, I could be wrong, but I think that's the one that came up a few times on me. That's a nice fish, guys. For me. You know what I mean? Not to you. To me. Oh, that's a nice fucking brown there. Oh, yeah. Look at him go. Uh, oh no, you don't want to lose you, motherfucker. We're just going to give him a little... Sh I got him hooked. Not worried about it. Can you guys see the coloration on this beautiful brown here? You know what? Why am I putting my line in like that when I should just be grabbing my line like a normal person does? There we go, guys. We got ourselves. The hard work paid off today. What I was saying about hook set earlier, guys, is you want that hook set. You know what I'm saying? We got a nice fish here, guys. See if we can get a quick picture. Yeah, he took <coughs> he took a while to catch, guys. I was grinding for a little while there. I caught a little one, caught a little rainbow. And he's gone. You see him right there in the water, guys? Look at him go, I can catch him again. Oh, there he goes, there he goes, he's got the energy. Perfect, perfect. All right guys, um, yeah, this is, this is, my favorite run's right there. And this is the spot where I walk across in the summer, you know, I've never gotten a big brown trout out of that hole, so. Oh, the pitchers turned out garbage, guys. Foggy, foggy, foggy. That's okay. I got another little guy there. But, you know what, guys? I might even give it another stab real quick. I want to thank everyone for watching and commenting and, you know, being polite and stuff. A couple rude people, but we'll, they'll get theirs in time. Come see me anytime, guys. I have smell 344 Robinson Road. I got my knife ready for you from the threats and stuff like that. So, you know, anytime, boys, anytime. I'm here by myself, as you can see. Come here by myself pretty much, you know, three, four days a week. And, I, and I'm always up for it, you know. I don't like being threatened, guys. I don't know about you, but threats don't make, uh, <laughs> don't make you tough. You know what I mean? Make, what makes you tough is just being tough. Being smart, being smarter than the next person. People who make threats aren't smart because you have evidence, you know what I mean? So then when you get into a fight with that person, wherever it may be, at their home, your home, whatever, they threatened you first, right? So you're basically just defending yourself. I'm gonna get a couple more casts here, guys. And then I'm gonna call it for the day because that was, like, to you guys, like, that seems like a fucking easy fish to catch. Well, come here and catch it. And then, you know, I'll believe you. <laughs> it's not an easy fish to catch. That fish took me an hour to catch. On top of the two years it took me to catch a nice brown. With a fly rod, guys. With a fly rod. Just remember that. You bring me out here with a spin rod, I'll catch every fish in this creek. I did it for years. See, the thing about it is I didn't take pictures, though, years ago. You know what I mean? I never really carried around a camera with me or... 
I don't have everything documented like most people do of their fishing careers, but I started, you know, I, I started documenting, I'd say like, let's see, almost two years ago. Close to where I am in five years. Got a little hatch here. Yeah, like the fish just sometimes, man, right before dark, they just turn right on. It's just like a switch. And like I was just all day, you know, I had so, I had some action, like I said in the other videos or this video earlier. This is gonna be a long one, shit. Cuts into 12 minutes, so I'm gonna have to get into editing, guys, eventually. Once we start getting days where it's just a like an absolute fucking fish, 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 fish. Like most days here, you can't keep the little guys off. You know what I mean? So what you what you do is if there's flies hatching, is you put a simulator on, like a bigger fly, right? Something that just Something, make sure it's the same color as what's hatch, hatching, of course, like, even on an off day, you get something on a simulator, right, but, um, if there's a hatch, man, just use a little bit bigger of a bug, and you'll keep those little pecker fucking rainbows and browns off, and you'll get the big ones that come out, like, we were getting, like, that one I just caught, it's not even big compared to the ones we were getting into, I had a fish come up here about five times today, man, I don't know what, how big it was, but it was big, I think I'm gonna call it, though, guys, yeah, like, I had a really good day today, that's actually, the, well, the best day since the flood. And see, like, I'm leaving at hatch time. Like, there's fucking bugs hatching right in front of me. Yeah, they're small, very small, hard to replicate, even harder to catch a fish with on a bar with no bar, but, you know, it, that's what it's grinding, man. You gotta get out here. You gotta get out here. Spend the fucking time, man. Like, some people it'll come natural to, some people will be better than other people, but it's all fun, man. Nothing, nothing like dry fly fishing for trout, man. Like, any fish, though. You, like... No, I guess it's the same top water for bass. That's probably why I used to love it so much. That's why I used to have a boat and I used to like drag it to lakes and shit. Just a 71 pound, two pontoons, man, you know, just grind that boat out. Like, it was wicked for years. And then I started, this is years ago now, fuck, a long time ago. Then I started, uh, like I always, we always trout fish, but never really, not much in the summers, right? Because the, the creek gets so low and shit. But when you're fly fishing, you can dry fly fish or use such a delicate presentation that the low waters don't really matter, you know what I mean? Like, as opposed to throwing a fucking spin lure or a fucking jerk bait or whatever people use to catch trout in this creek. Like, I've seen all sorts of shit. The other day I seen a four inch like, green and black jerk bait. Like, the trout aren't gonna eat that unless they're stressed out and you trigger one to eat. Like, small spinners, man. Obviously worms, like worms work great. I just got, I got all that, all, and like guys, you're going to watch the video and you're gonna be like, oh, Jake doesn't know what he's doing, Jake doesn't know how to cast, like guys, I'm telling you right now, when water's discolored and running fast and high, you're not going to be able to do your normal fucking everyday proper Orvis fly fishing guide school cast, so you're going to have to do weird shit, like, no one's going to teach you how to improperly cast, it's something you have to learn for yourself, like it's not improper cast, like I'm roll casting basically or flick rolling, whatever you want to call it. Like there's three main cast guys. There's a thousand variations of each one. Like it's insane. People develop their own methods and stuff. Like if anyone's watching this that fly fishes and if you haven't seen a river runs through it, go watch that movie. And you, you'll see about like uniform casts and like they talk about how everyone has different skill sets and stuff like that. And like people generate their own um, way of casting. I guess generate was probably a shitty word to use, but construct their own way of casting I don't know absolutely insane day two flies guys didn't lose a fly two flies in non hatch peak period too like I wasn't fishing during a full hatch or a big hatch or you see little fuckers I don't even have dry flies that small I don't think to be honest with you I don't fuck with the, the tiny tiny shit I will eventually and it's going to depend on, and it's just going to obviously depend on where you're fishing, what's hatching, like what you need to use. Like I find here, um, I've used guys, I've used quarter size flies, okay, it's quarter size simulators right before dark, and had big boys just like they love that shit. Like, see now I'm overdoing in this hole. I can just tell because there's no, no activity. And it was fucking hot for five minutes, man. Well, actually it was hot for ten, and then I fucking took a fifteen minute break. Fucking wicked action today, guys. Can't wait to upload this shit. Yeah, to some, it's not gonna seem like much, man. It's gonna seem like, oh, you know, he's bragging about like little fish and shit. I'm not bragging about anything, man. All I'm saying is that like, you think trout fishing, fly fishing is easy in my creek? Come here, come here and show me something, man. I'd love to. Like I learn stuff every day. 
every single fucking day. I meet people every single day and I learn new things. You know what I mean? I am no master. I am no intermediate even. Like at this creek, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even call myself an intermediate fly fisherman at this creek, guys. I would say I am, uh, I don't want to say an amateur. I've been fishing this creek for, this is, this is my 11th year fishing this creek. And not full time, but the last six years has been pretty much full time. Actually, we'll say seven years. Anyways, guys. Fuck, man. I said it earlier. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. If I can just show people, you know, like, even if, even if your regulations aren't barbless, guys, for trout, just use, just take that barb off sometimes, you know? Especially if you're catching a lot of little guys and you find you're hurting them. Just take that barb off, guys. Barbly, barbless equals harmless, bud. I'm gonna get some t-shirts made and some hats made. Like with my symbols and that barbless equals harmless. Hopefully no one has that trademark yet. I haven't seen it and you think you'd see it. But that sounds, it just sounds like it wouldn't be that popular because people don't use barbless hooks unless that's the regs, right? Like I hate it, but in the summer when you catch dirty little pecker rainbows, you wanted that hook to fall out basically when you grab that fish. Like, and all the fish I caught today, I didn't even take the hook out. Except for that last.